everyone, Outdoors and Botanical here, and today I thought I'd make a video on how to find orb weaver spiders. So recently, as you've noticed, I sort of developed a passion for spiders, and orb weavers are really cool, and I have the perfect place near my house to find them. So to identify the webs. You want to find them like this. They're going to have a Z pattern, or at least the type of orb weavers that I find. They'll have that Z pattern on the web. Best time is early in the morning when there's dew because the webs highlight in the sun, as you can see right there. So that's the best time to find them. However, if you wait too long, they take down their webs in the morning, and then you won't find them. So you got to come at around 8 o'clock in the morning, which is fairly early. Unfortunately, I can't find the spider in this web. I searched around the grass around it. Uh, I cannot find it. So let's keep looking, see if we can find another web with a spider in it. Alright guys, let's just say we found one. Or many. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are a lot of webs out here, and I see two of them have orb weaver spiders on them. Now, meadows or near wetlands with tall vegetation are great spots because they build their webs between it. Um, and actually, I should tell you what kind of orb weavers I'm looking for. So there's a very common one called a cross orb weaver or something like that, and uh, you can find those by your house. Those are pretty plain looking, they're very common. Banded orb weavers and black and yellow orb weavers are very cool, and that's the ones I'm looking for. So if we walk in here a bit, hopefully there's no ticks. There is a banded orb weaver right there. Let's see if I can get it to... Oh. No, I tried to get it on my hand, but it fell off. There is another one right there. I don't know if you can see that one, but there's a lot in here. So let's see if I can find one, get into a container to get it up close to the camera. All right, and right beside it, here's what I find. This is the black and yellow orb weaver. So let's try to get this into a container. Get it up close to the camera. Oh. Wait, nope, this is the banded orb weaver too. You can tell because it has bands. <laughs> black and yellow, it's like half its body is black and half is yellow, and then there's blotches in between. These get much bigger than this too. Like, much, much bigger. So, uh, let's put this guy back on his web. If we can. There we go. It's back on his web. And enjoy your breakfast that you found there. Let's find some more. Here is a beautiful specimen of the banded orb weaver spider. Hopefully the camera will show. Try to put my hand behind. My hand's pretty close. It's a big spider. It's a beautiful spider. So, um, yeah. They tend to be beside walking trails. They don't like to be in the middle of dense vegetation sometimes. Um, let's see if we can find the black and yellow orb weaver. Well, guys, I'd hate to give up so easily, but... We were unable to find the black and yellow orb weaver. We will look another day. If you enjoy this video, please comment and like. As always, stay outdoors, be botanical, keep your hobbies. I'll see you in the next video.